All right, a quick video rundown of uh, taking apart the Rock Island Armory VR80. This is this beast. And when I say beast, it's insanely fun to shoot. Uh, it's in stock form right now. And like I say, this gun is hella fun to shoot. Uh, recoil, everything is not bad on it. Um, I've shot everything from light loads to double up buck to slugs. And uh, it's fun. It's a fun gun. Can guns be fun? This one is. I was uh, cleaning my Rock Island Armory VR80 and I figured, well, hey, I might as well just show a little video of taking it down. Um, if you're new to this shotgun, it's, uh, it's, it is a Rock Island Armory VR80. Uh, it's a 12 gauge shotgun, kind of in a, in an AR platform, sort of, uh, taking it apart and cleaning it is, uh, definitely recommended when you first, if you get this gun new, um, I, I would recommend taking it apart and cleaning it before you take it out to shoot it. Uh, cause there is some packing grease and, and whatnot, you know, thing, it's a brand new gun, so things are going to be a little stiff, but, uh, you know, before you do anything, you know, make sure there is nothing in the chamber, no magazine in the gun. Uh, safety is always a plus. It's not a plus, it's a necessity. Anyway, taking apart and uh, cleaning the gas system. Got a shroud up here. Take that off. Uh, your handguard. What's next? Boom. Comes right off, just like that. You have a little knurled retaining clip here. If you spin it to unscrew it, hey, nothing happens. That's because you got to hold on to this piece right here. There you go. You spin it, you take it off. Then, why won't this come off? If you push it back just a little bit, oh no, look at this. There's a retaining clip. Is it broken? No, it's not broken. It's supposed to be like that. It's a split ring in two pieces. Let it loose. That little cover comes off. Then you have this. That is your light for light loads. Uh, it also comes with a heavy load ring in there. Actuator, actuator comes off and there you have it, your exposed gas system. Um, what I do is uh, I'm using some ballastol. Ugh, this stuff stinks for me for some reason. I hate the way it smells, but it works great. So you clean and wipe down everything in here. And now I've already wiped this down once and uh, it was filthy. And you still have some, some charring looking stuff right here. Uh, you know, if you want, you could use like some really super fine steel wool or something like that to get that off. Um, I'm just gonna hit this with a rag in the ballastol clean down in that groove really good try to get any funk that has built up in there out of there and there will be some funk coming out of there <laughs> um, hit it with just a little bit of oil wipe it down real good and you want to make sure your ports in here are clean and open right there right there right there that seems to be where a lot of the funk initially builds up on my gun at least so putting it back together wipe down all these parts inside and out <clears throat> you 
And you can put a little bit of oil on these parts right here if you want. I generally kind of keep the lubricant and stuff, just, you know, a light bit in there for that. And I try to keep, you know, some people run their guns wet. Uh, I usually put oil on mine and keep them some, you know, just wipe it down, keep it somewhat dry. Put your ring back on. Take your cover. Clean it inside and out. Back on it goes. Now you got the split ring. If you take, it won't fit, right? Push it back a little bit. Line the split ring up. First time I took it apart, I was like, holy crap, the spring's broke. No, it's not broke. Let it go, and there you have it. Back in working order. Take your hand guard and uh, you can wipe it out. Goes back on just like that. Oh, forgot a part. Look at me. Screwing up. Getting too carried away. Forgot to put this uh, little gnarled clip on there. Don't get in a hurry like I just did. <laughs> put it back together and you got pieces left over, you got problems. So there, put that little gnarled retainer ring back on there. Hand guard back on. Barrel shroud back on and you are good to go as far as the gas system cleaning goes wipe down any oil or anything else you got on there and you're good to go bam that easy don't be afraid to do it if you don't know how to do it do it learn it watch this video or watch other videos there's a bunch out there don't be afraid to uh, take your gun apart and clean it and uh, just keep track of your parts and if it helps as you take them apart lay them out in the order they go back together and uh, you won't do what i just did and forget to put that retainer ring on there <laughs> so there you go there you have it rock island army vr80 12 gauge ar platform this is one badass gun i love it taking apart this part of the gun you got a pin here and a pin here. Push that one in. Push that one in. Come on the other side. Sometimes you may have to get a pen or something and push in there. The gun will come apart just like that. Pull this pin. And now the gun will totally come apart just like that so now you can clean this part your bolt everything else trigger all that is in this lower housing and it after as many times as I've shot it appears to be fairly clean considering the rounds that I have put through this thing. This part seems fairly clean. You know, you can clean and polish this little area here, your little feeding ramp. Some people will take and polish that just gonna help your you know your rounds feed into the chamber a little easier uh, this one is pretty smooth I may take and polish it later right now I'm just cleaning it because I am going out to shoot this gun momentarily
This gun does come with uh, three different chokes as well. So when you get it, throw those extra parts. Like I say, it comes with a, a different uh, ring for heavy loads. The one that's in us right now is for light loads. Um, take all those parts, put it in your range bag or whatever so you don't lose them. And in case you do get out there, you wanna shoot slugs, you can change your choke out um, if you wanna shoot slugs or something like that out of this gun. This thing is a blast to shoot. It's one of the funnest shotguns that I have ever shot. Shotten, is that a word? There you have it. Ready to go. Bingo. VR80. Get some.